Hello and welcome to another video in our Android Studio series. I'm Norman from Future Studio University and in this video we're going to talk about one of my favorite shortcuts ever and that is live templates. I can't believe I've never done a video about it, so let's get into it. Our job as developers is to bring business logic into concrete code. But a lot of the time we have to spend is writing basic class structures and things the compiler needs us to write, but not actually writing the business logic, the important bits. And live templates is a way of reducing um, the clutter you have to write around the code. So let me give you an example here. And you see the toast message. Now writing the toast message is no big deal, but you actually have to write quite a bit to make it work. In live templates, the shortcut is command J gives you a bunch of options of automatically generating code. So for example, I can select the toast message here. I'm just going to click enter and it fills out most of the stuff for me. So I can say, yes, the context is correct. And I can write my message, click enter again, and I'm done. All of that was super simple um, without much effort. So we can focus on the actual important bits. Another example are loops. So if I need to write a for loop, I can simply click the shortcut for command uh, for live templates, command J. I can say, let's say I want a for E loop and it automatically generates me the skeleton for the loop. So if I want to count up to 25, that's the way to do it. The third example I want to give you is logging. So for example, if I want to log in the debug level, I'll just say log D, click enter, and it will generate the logging um, statement for me. And I can fill up something here if I need to. Now all of these are kind of reversed. You have to think of well, which structure do I need and then which do I need to iterate on. So what I mean by that is, for example, up here we have this array of temperatures. And if I want to iterate through that array, it is much more easy to do that on the object. And Android Studio does support that. So I can just write temperature. So that's the array. I can click, click the dot. And now I can say, okay, I want to do the for e loop. Click enter and it automatically fills out um, everything back here. And I'm done with the loop. And that works for a bunch of different loops. So if I want to say, I don't want to have a regular loop, I want a reverse loop. So I want to start at the back and then go forward. That is also possible. And notice how it is smart enough to do, like do the, neg uh, the minus one at the, at the beginning. So it doesn't have the out of bounds exception. So it's really smart um, and selects the, the right context for, for the method. Another example, you could also do the temperature in just a regular um, iteration through it if you don't need um, the the position of the iteration. But the for loops are not everything. You can also do it on regular objects. For example, here we have a boolean object. So if I say is too hot, and here you have a different set of options. What you see, for example, is the if option. Now I'm just going to click enter, and it automatically generates the if statements around for me. Now I could also do else and it will do the negative statement for me. Now there's a bunch of other options. For example, you could do system out print line. Now this doesn't make that much sense on Android, but for Java projects it might be helpful as well. Now there's another set and that is the ones on numbers. So if you go this video number, which is an integer, I will get a different set. So for example, I could do um, let's say a switch statement, and it will generate the switch um, for me around it. It's a really neat feature. Um, it has a bunch of more options than I just showed you, but you should look into it and um, just try it out and you will use it all the time um, soon, I promise you. That's it for this video. Let me know if you learned something by dropping a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Enjoy coding and make it rock.